All right. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. I would like to personally thank you all for joining us for the second annual Madam Walker Legacy Center 2021 Summer Institute. My name is Mr. Devin and I'm the Programs and Outreach Manager here at the Walker and I'm thrilled to be one of your camp counselors for our 2021 Summer Institute. Now, before we jump in, I wanna take a moment to ask you all to post in the chat, just like always, where are you from? Each day we get new students and we wanna know exactly where you're from. I'm from Indiana. Miss Nicole, where are you at right now? Actually, I'm in Las Vegas right now. <laughs> Nicole is in Las Vegas. Do not be fooled by that incredible background. Go ahead and let us know where you're at in the chat. Oh, I see Westfield. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, while you're posting, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Walker. Our mission here at the Madam Walker Legacy Center is to inspire, engage, and empower individuals in our culturally diverse community, both here in Indianapolis, Indiana, where the Madam Walker Legacy Center is based and online. No matter where you live, we welcome you. I'll make sure that I turn you over to your camp counselor, Miss Nicole, here in a second, but I just wanna let you know a little bit about her first. Nicole loves tacos. I'm here to eat a lot of those. Sushi, shawarma, <laughs> reading and writing essays and poetry. Look, me too. She's <laughs> passionate about the relationship between people and places, loves spending time with her family who she believes are enough to populate a small city. And she does a pretty good Shakira impression. Everybody, please welcome Miss Nicole. Hi, you guys. Welcome, welcome. Got a lot of people from Indiana, some Boston. Yeah, lots of people. You guys are from everywhere. This is great. I'm so excited for you all to meet today's special guest, Mr. Gary G, who is going to be leading us through today's lesson on self-expression through drawing. But before I introduce him, we have to establish a few ground rules so that today's program goes as smooth as butter. You already know, post in the chat, what is rule number one? Rule number one, tell us, what is rule number one? See, Vivian raised her hand. She knows. Let's okay, Vivian, let us what know. Is, what's rule number one? Ah, Genesis. Genesis says pay attention. And you are absolutely right. Rule number one, you got to pay attention. You won't be able to enjoy this if you can't truly immerse yourself and pay attention to everything Mr. Gary G says. Now, rule number two. Who knows rule number two? Go ahead and post in the chat. Who knows rule number two? Ah, close, yeah. close. Thank you, thank you. Ask questions in the chat. Unfortunately, we can't see you guys, but you guys can see us. And we wanna make sure that we're hearing everything that you're saying. So go ahead and type in the chat your questions. And there is no such thing as a wrong question. Now, rule number three. Who can tell us in the chat rule number three? Ah, Adeline's prepared, prepared to let us know that you have to come prepared for each session. That is rule number three, come prepared for each and every session. Now, rule number four, that's the easiest rule. Who knows rule number four? Go ahead and type it in the chat. I know that you should, guys know. That should be the first rule you know. Ah, there you go. Be respectful. Rule number four is be respectful. You want to use kind and appropriate language at all times in the chat box. And if you use any inappropriate language or are disrespectful toward our campers in any potential way, your comment will be deleted and you'll be removed from the session immediately. But we're so excited to have you all with us today. Let's keep working together, together to make sure that everyone is having a good time. Now, if you can agree to help us out by upholding those four ground rules, post a thumbs up emoji in the chat box right now. Miss Nicole, I think you should tell them a little bit more about the Summer Institute schedule before we get started. Yes, let's go. And you're right, Genesis. That was the fifth honorary rule was have fun. That is right. If you guys notice, I posted what you guys will need for today's session in the chat. You guys should be able to open that up and see what we've got cooking for you today. So thank you so much, Devin. As he, as he said, I'm Miss Nicole. Good to see you guys. I'm one of your camp counselors. And thank you so much for joining us for week two of Summer Institute 2021. So last week we talked about all um, social justice. We got to go to the Indiana Historical Society. We heard from Indy 10 Black Lives Matter. And we also had a nice art session with Miss Deanna Craig. So um, we also have 
Um, we're spotlighting the arts again this week. We've got a full week lined up for you. Next week is all about entrepreneurship and philanthropy. And then we finish out week four with science and technology. So this camp is going to go all through July until July 29th. And we are so excited to have you guys here. Um, for those of you who were here last week, I'm going to need you to go to the chat box and rate it. How would you grade Miss Deanna Craig's session? Remember, we traced our hand and we wrote how we were going to be active and participating. How would you guys get? Yeah, we've got an A, A's. Yeah, I love that session. Miss Deanna was amazing. Yes, and get your pen and paper out. A plus, plus, plus. I, I can't even, I'm going to get winded saying all those pluses. It was so good. A plus plus infinities. Excellent. Yes, it was a really, really good session. And in addition to asking you guys to join us for each session, we have a very important request. I need you to share your work with us. After each session, we're going to be looking on social media for you and your parents to post pictures, videos, TikToks, showing what you guys learned. So please, please, please tag us at, at Walker Theater. I'm going to drop it in the chat box so you guys can see it. And please make sure you guys tag us. We want to see your artwork. We want to see what you guys learn, what you think. We want to know. So please make sure that you tag us on whatever um, platform you guys use, whether it be Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, anything. We want to see it. We have a ton of amazing partners and organizations, um, including, as we said, the Indiana Historical Society, Indy 10, Black Lives Matter, Deanna Craig from last, these were all last week's guests. This week, we've got Arts for Learning, Indiana. Gary G is going to uh, help us and talk us through some drawing. We've got the Kenyatta Dance Company, Asante's Children's Theater, 100 Black Men of Indianapolis, Junior Achievement of Central Indiana, Microsoft, and even NASA. So thank you guys so much. Without further ado, let me introduce you guys to Mr. Gary G. Mr. G is an Indianapolis-based visual artist in the indie arts community. He's a painter and sculptor creating works on canvas and ceramic. His work references urban street art, art history, and hip hop culture. Can we give Mr. Gary a big, warm welcome, applause emojis, a bunch of, you know how we like to do the applauses, a bunch of Random uh, letters. Uh. Welcome, 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 Mr. G. Take it away. Hey, how's everybody doing? So, like Mr. Cole said, I'm Gary G. I'm an artist. Um, and I heard that y'all had Miss Deanna Craig last week. So that's an honor because I did the eye in the lives on the Black Lives Matter mural here on Indiana Avenue, and Miss Deanna worked next to me on the V. And we're at another artist collected the 18 together. So it's an honor to hear that y'all had her here last week. And I hope I can have just as much fun with you today. So my program is called Drawn to Conclusions. It was split it into two parts. So the first part is pretty easy. And it's going to be used in drawing and your imagination. And we'll just create a little masterpiece for about 10 minutes. So if you're ready to begin, we're going to get started now. Mm -hmm. Everybody got your pen and paper out or pencil and paper? Okay, so this is real simple. There is no right or wrong way. And if you notice, I'm not even looking at my paper. You just make a bunch of long loopy lines. You can call them scribbles or whatever you have, them, right? Now, this is where your imagination comes in. You have to look at your paper and see if you see anything. Now, it's simple. So maybe I don't see anything in here this way. You might turn your paper and you'll just look anyway and say, hey, do I see anything yet? Is my imagination working? Where do I see something? Can I find anything? And I think I found something the first way. Maybe, just maybe, I think I found something here. So I see this crazy nose. And then I see an eye right here. And I see another eye right here. And nothing has to be perfect because we're just using our imaginations here. 
So I just came up with this little crazy face off of my scribbles or loopy lines. And I want you to try to do the same thing here. And we're gonna take about 10 minutes. So everybody start those long loopy lines and then I'm gonna give you about a minute to do that. And then we're gonna start the stopwatch at 10 minutes and create a masterpiece. And nobody's will look the same. And then to add to that, so hey, if you say, well, I don't see any shapes, I don't see any pictures, you can just start coloring sections in. You can add little shapes. Just make designs however you want. You can use lines, anything. All you have to do is use your imagination for 10 minutes and draw what you see. And if you say, I don't like my lines, guess what? Just add more. There are no rules to this except to use your imagination to draw and have a little fun. This is our warm up exercise, by the way. So on your marks, get set, draw. All right. And if you have any questions along the way, ask Mr. Cole or Mr. Devin, and I will certainly answer them for you. Oh, wow. So you, I see you've made a mouth. I wouldn't have even seen that until you made that. Yes, whatever you see. Very nice. And like Mr. Gary said, there's no wrong way to do it. You may have a picture, you may have a design, you can add colors if you have colors. This is how I used to spend my pastime as a kid to stay out of trouble. Whenever I was bored, this was my cure for bored. You can tell stories in your lines, you can write words in your lines, you can do anything creative you want. Just think outside the box, have a little fun and relax. Mine is kind of turning out like a butterfly slash moth. What are you guys kind of coming up with? Oh, Miss Nicole's got a butterfly slash moth. Don't use that imagination. Mr. Gary G, he's got himself a face. Post in the chat, what kind of designs are you coming up with for this warm up? And again, there is no wrong answer. Maybe you found a bird. Maybe you found, oh, a Puerto Rican flag. Very nice. Ooh, I like that. Is mine. I still got to go over it with a darker color so you can really see Oh, it. check out Miss Nicole's. Let's see. I see the butterfly. You can see it a little bit? Just Almost. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> oh, I see somebody's coming up with a dog. Very nice. Very nice. Ismael, you always find a way to put the Puerto Rican flag. I love it. Vivian's got a flower. We've got a silly face. Oh, and a cat thingy, that's cool. Oh, a flower. Sounds like people are using those imaginations today. And that's the main thing, isn't it, Mr. Gary G? Yes, it is. No matter what you make, make sure you use your imagination. That is the key. Your imagination is your superpower. Ah, I like that. Your imagination is your superpower. If you can imagine it, you can do it. Yes. If you can conceive it and believe it, you can achieve it. Ooh, I, I know love that's that. right. Let's put that on a shirt, Mr. Gary. <laughs> really? You can draw over stuff as you see Mr. Gary doing. That's right. Let's zoom in on what Mr. Gary's doing. So he's layering up, adding layers and dimension to the work that he's creating. Most importantly, I just want to know who's having fun. Yeah, good question, oh. Mr. Gary. Go ahead and post in the chat, y'all. Who's having fun? And if your cat has turned into a dog, <laughs> if your house has turned into a boat, 
There is no wrong way to do this as long as you let your imagination run through. Very okay. nice. Looks like everybody's having fun. That's what we like to hear. I don't like that. That's a good group. Sounds like we're out charged up and energized. Okay, Kayla, I see you're making a point shoe. That yes. means you're going to really like uh, tomorrow's class with Kenyette Dance Company. Ooh, oh, that's yeah, that's going to be good. good. She's ready. Got snorkeling goggles. Guys, it is literally a hundred and I think five degrees where I'm at now. I really need some snorkeling goggles. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Snorkeling goggles. Look, that's what I need myself. It looks like a cartoon character. We, we got about five, a little over five minutes. So we still got some time to keep creating those masterpieces. About halfway through. This is a good warm up, folks. And do you see how Mr. Gary's lines, they turned from just lines and now it's a face with dimension and character and personality. Remember, there's no wrong way to do this, team. None at all. All you have to do is do and create. That's what makes an artist an artist. You just decide to make art. Miss Genesis, she's got a princess butterfly. I'm excited to see that. Make Ooh. sure you folks post all of these on social media so we can keep up. Genesis, if you're making a princess butterfly, I'm making a jester butterfly. A jester butterfly, nice. Making me think about the butterfly house at the zoo. Oh, yeah. For those of you who aren't in Indianapolis, Indiana, our local zoo has what's called a butterfly house, and it's beautiful. That's what Mr. Wow. Gary G is referencing. The butterfly will fly around and land on you, <gasps> They'll interact with you the whole day. So if oh you're ever gosh. in Indianapolis and you get a chance to go to the zoo, you should try to do that. Well, that sounds magical. You guys are doing great. Yeah, I feel like a real artist. You feel like a real artist, Mr. Cove? I do. You are a real artist because you're creating art right now. And you're using your imagination. That's the beauty of this. A lot of people can copy stuff, but a lot of people would not use their imaginations. You should never lose your imagination, no matter how old you get. Dream of better worlds and better places. I love that. That that is a good word of word of wisdom. If you create art, you're an artist. You don't have to put a lot of judgment behind it. Just create art, and you can be that. Because you have, sorry, Mr. Cole. No, I was just gonna say. Do you guys have any questions about how to draw anything in particular? Because remember, this is just the warm up. We're about to get into the other part here soon. How many more minutes left on our warm-up, Mr. Gary? We have two minutes and six seconds. So you have two minutes to fully design your piece. Can but if you don't get it done, you can always come back and do it over. That's right. <laughs> what you got there? A oh, at first I thought it was like a baby jelly bean. It's turning on to a person. Very nice. <laughs> Let's zoom in on that. Look at that detail. And I'm just warmed up because this is my second time today. So I'm getting warmed up too. Very nice, very nice. And you can do this anytime, secure for boredom. I guarantee you. You can get lost in your little piece and enjoy yourself 
like Miss Nicole was saying about art. So one thing, even if you're a professional artist, people will love your work. Someone will not like your work, but it's still your work. So you'd be proud of that, no matter what it is, because you made it and nobody else could make what you made because it's using your imagination. Oh. And don't hesitate to ask questions like Mr. Cole and Mr. Devin have said, I will answer them. Yeah, we've got just under a minute left for this warm up. What questions do you all have for Mr. Gary before we move on to the next section? I know you guys are lost in your drawing, like they might Mr. be having G's fun. <laughs> they might be having fun, which is also great. We like that. That's right. How many of you guys ended up pulling out some color? I'm just using a pen. So mine is just the I'm color just using of my mind. I didn't have color today. Mr. And Gary G's got graphite. He's still doing so much with it because he's putting in the shading and the detail. Yeah, you see the crown. You see a little sun rays in the back. Oh, oh time. Pen's time's down. up. So do we get some masterpieces out there? Yeah. Tell us in the chat with your warm-up exercise, what's the final result of you using your imagination, kids? Go ahead and post it in the chat. Oh, well, Ishmael says, Mr. Gary, have you ever done digital art? Yes, I have, Mr. Ishmael. I've played with Photoshop and Illustrator. Um, I've taken some of my drawings that I've drawn on paper and scanned them in and just recolored them around. Very so nice. there's, there's a lot of ways that you can use that digital art to your advantage, too. Well, we just... honest, at first, Mr. Gray was kind of against it. I thought it was cheating, but it's not. <laughs> it's just a new medium to use and explore. And you guys have so much at your fingertips in this technology-based world now. And if you can do the analog and the digital, you will be super powerful. Mm. What would you say is the main difference between doing something digitally versus doing it um, by hand? And which one do you hmm. like better? <laughs> I'm still kind of old school. I like by hand because I know it's me and I can see my stuff. Like I embrace mistakes. I think you should learn from me. Um, and I just enjoy doing my work by hand, but also now with the digital, the pencils have gotten better. So when I first started, it was a lot of mice or mouse and mouse clicks and it was driving me crazy. Mm. So I like to just flow with my pencil. And now that I, Apple has the nice Apple Pencil, it works a little bit better for me. Or if you have a stylus at all. So it's almost like you're still using a pen or pencil, but you're in the computer. So I love that. I respect both ways, analog and digital. Very nice. Love it. Mr. Gary's getting a fresh piece of paper going right now. Yeah. And it looks like with your imaginations, you all have created a tiger person, a snake, shoes and pizza that's awesome mm, pizza <laughs> that's what i need right now what i need some pizza, pizza. <laughs> <laughs> got it. oh and a dog with point shoes on its feet wow so you guys have definitely been using your imaginations that is great so are we ready for the next exercise i think so okay so we just need a clean sheet of paper okay well, and for this one, i'm going to show you some cheat codes on how i make faces and some of it may sound crazy at first. And you'll be like, this is a lot. But I think everybody can learn if you get this. These are the basics. And then you can take away what you need to make it better in the future. So the first thing that we will do is make us like a nice oval or circle shape. And you want to make it big enough that you can work on it. Then the next step here is we're going to start to make a series of lines. The first line we're going to make is a vertical line, which is going straight up and down, right through the middle. After you get that line, our next line will be a horizontal line. And horizontal just means side to side, and we'll go from one side to the next, right across the middle. Now, kind of like a big T. Yes. Now we're gonna play this game with horizontal lines for a minute. 
if you get lost or you need me, just tell Mr. Cole or Mr. Devin and we'll get back on track with you. So we're going to start the top line we just made and the bottom of your oval or circle. And I want you to put a little short horizontal line right in the middle. Then our next line will be halfway between the line we just made and the bottom. Is it okay if my oval was really slanted? Your oval can be any shape. It could be an odd shape. Honestly, it could have even been a square and I'd deal with you and we'd be okay. Because <laughs> after you get these basic lines down, you'll be able to put a face in any shape you want. But this is just a basic way that we learned how to do this in, in several art schools. Oh. So I just kind of combine what I learned and try to make the process a little easier at times. So after we have this line, we're going to make another line just slightly about halfway under the middle line we just made. And then after you get that one, you'll go halfway across the top here and we'll make another little line. The lips got to be down here. I can feel it. Yes. Now, I promise I will only tell you to make two more horizontal lines. Now, in between this one and this one, We'll make a horizontal line. And then when you get done with that, make one more right through the middle. Now our next exciting shape we're gonna make here today is a triangle. And we're gonna start in the middle of our top line and come down on your middle line there. So you created a triangle from the top to the first short line. Then we're gonna make three circles. One, two, three circles. We're gonna make a bigger one right here in the middle, the bottom of our triangle, that'll kind of split your line down the middle. After you get that one, we'll put a circle right in the corners or close to the corners of your triangle. Now, I don't know where you're at right now because we're all over the place, right? But it's been real rainy in Indiana a lot lately, okay? Especially here in Indianapolis. So when it rains a lot, I look for rainbows. I try to find the rainbows after the rain. I'm still looking for that leprechaun with the gold, but I haven't found it. But <laughs> we're going to make a rainbow shape from the inside of this corner or the inside of the circle to this side of the circle. Just make a small rainbow shape on both sides. Can you guys see that? One, two, either way you go. Stay up for a minute, Jeff. And then after you get those rainbow shapes, see, because rainbows make me smile, especially if you saw two of them in the same day, you make those touch with the little happy face shape uh -huh. right there. Uh -huh. I might. Looks like okay. my, my face is going to have two different size nostrils, but that's okay. Hey, Mr. Cole. Because <laughs> I do okay. too. How many times have you done it this way? <laughs> Never. This is your first time, right? Yeah. Yeah, so don't be hard on yourself. Okay, now we're going to make a C shape, right? Around the circle and make it touch the bottom of the rainbow. And this side, you could call it a backward C shape or like somebody when they're pregnant or if we eat too much. And see, my nostrils aren't the same size either, Mr. Cole. <laughs> Trick That's here. Good. Even the world famous artists like Picasso and Van Gogh and Rembrandt, and Jacob Lawrence is in the Ernie Barnes and Frida Kahlo. A lot of artists, the faces, the symmetry is not always the same from one side to the left because we're only human. Okay. Now, the next move we're going to make here is we're going to come right on the second line on the side of our triangle. And we're gonna make another little like arc shape, come up and stop on our top line. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side here. Okay, now we got that. We're moving on. We're gonna start this next shape. It's like an American football shape. And how we make that is come on this second line here 
when you come up and touch it or almost touch the top line, whatever makes you feel good. And so you got that rainbow or a heel, and you come back and around with a smile. So up, back around with a smile there. Very nice. I love how you said if whatever feels good. So it's all about you get to decide. You yes. have fun. This is your creation. You have to relax and just go through the process. And the more we do it, the better we get. That's right. So now we're going to make, because we had this at the other location, right? So we're going to make a European football or what we call a soccer ball shape or basketball shape in the middle here. And how you do that is you just come from the top of your little arch there. You come, you're not even making a full circle. See, cheat codes. Start to shape up. So we got that right. Now, if you have that, we'll make like a baseball size shape here in the middle. And hey, none of this has to be perfect. Keep this in mind, okay? So when you got that, one more time with the circles, we'll put a smaller circle in here. Kind of looks like you got a donut shape going on now, right? Oh, I'm hungry. Same. <laughs> Pizza, donuts, I'm ready. Yes. Okay, now we have that, right? So nobody's eyes look like this, right? So we're gonna fix that. Ishmael said he's wide awake. Wide awake. <laughs> <laughs> Too much caffeine. So how we're gonna fix that is we come to the inside corner here and we make a little arch up and make it touch the inside corner over here. You can make that darker if you want now. And do the same thing on this side, right? Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, now. You have an option for this next part here. So we're gonna fix these little crazy things that are kind of like the caves that go around your eye socket. We're gonna turn them into eyebrows. So now how we can do this, if you want skinny eyebrows, you come from the outside or the inside, you come over, leave a little space and shape them. We can shade it in just like that. But if you want big, thick, bushy eyebrows, you just come straight across, over and down. Bushy for life. Yeah. Everybody here, we cooking with gas. We got it. Now we gotta, we can see what we talking about. We can smell what we talking about. Oh, here, in these little circles, you know, you don't have to color in the whole circle there. Little shading there. That's your nose. You can do the same with your eyes here. Cause this is all we need now, bottom part. That's gone. That's your eyelid now. That's right. Now that's your eyelid. Okay, now we can see, we can smell, we got some eyebrows. We wanna be able to talk, don't we? Mm -hmm. Let's get us a mouth going here. So yeah. right here on this middle line you got, we're gonna put a small V shape, small V shape. And then you just bring your lines kind of down at an angle like a ramp. Right there. You guys see that in that bottom right corner? Small V shape on the middle line and then ramps on the side for the top lip. Okay. Now we'll go to the bottom lip. We'll put like a little rainbow or heel shape right there at the bottom of our line. And we just bring our lines up on both sides of the angle. We got a meet. Now, Mr. G, I have a question. When you're drawing, do you sometimes think of like a story or like a personality for your faces or you do that after you draw it? Sometimes I do. Sometimes you may know ahead of time um, and then you can be specific on what you're making. And then I can use the lines or sometimes I can take some of the lines away and I won't have to use as many because I've been practicing for a while. But yeah, I like to think of the story sometimes or think about the people or create them as we go along. So now the next part here we're gonna do is make another little kind of like small V shape right under this line, the top line we got here. And then you just bring your lips down and you can shape your lips, you can reshape them, you can make them bigger, you can make them smaller, you can do it however you wanna do it, see? 
is just reshaping them. You want to make them longer. You can make them longer. This is all your creation. Or as you're thinking, like Mr. Cole asked me, are you thinking about somebody while you're making it? Mm, yeah. Mm, I feel like yeah. I want to name my person Kenny or something. Kenny. <laughs> oh, Kenny. Okay. Now we're gonna play a little game, what I call facial geometry, but there's no math involved. So I want you to look at the corner of your eye here. And if you move your finger straight back from the corner of your eye you get it right at the top behind your ear. So that means the top of your ear sticks up over your eyes. If you wear glasses or if you've been wearing a mask like everybody for the last year, you'll know that because you feel it. So how you get that is you come off to the side here, make a little line going up on each side. This is your ear. This is, this. trust me, it'll just look like bug wings for a minute, but we're going to make ears. Okay. So we after we get that, so the next part of facial geometry is the bottom of your ears. The bottom of your ears will either line up with the tip of your nose, or if you have long earlobes like Mr. Gary, then your ears will come in between your nose and your mouth. So I'm gonna put my little line right here in between my nose and my mouth. So we just look like we got antennas sticking up on the side, right? We'll fix that. <laughs> Bring your lines down, make them touch. Now, for those older people, we know it looks like Mr. Spock. If you're younger and you don't know Mr. <laughs> Spock, you say, I got these funny elf ears and I don't want them. Well, all you do is round them off, right? And you can shape them how you want to shape them. Now we've got some ears. Started off as an antenna, and now we've got ears. Very nice. Yes. Now, more facial geometry. Side of your eye again. So from the side of your eye here, if you move around your cheek, you feel how it comes out and it kind of stops at the side of your mouth. So how we're gonna get that one is, we come right here on the top part of our ear. We come down around about there on our mouth and stop how far in you want it. You can go from top to bottom or bottom to top. There's no right or wrong way, as long as you do this your way. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got that. Now, we're gonna look under our lips and we're gonna go for a chin. Now, you see my oval, my lip is kind of close to the bottom. So I want a bigger chin. So if I want a bigger chin, I'm gonna put me a little circle down here where I want my chin to be. If your oval is way down here and you wanna bring your chin up, then you just put the circle where you feel like you need this circle. Mm. This is just a guide. So don't make it real dark or heavy, okay? Then after you get that, we're gonna make like a bowl shape, bowl of ice cream, bowl of cereal. And see, I'm just rocking around mine because it doesn't have to be perfect. We can clean all those up. That's right. And then you just make these lines touch. See, now I got a kind of long chin though. But we're gonna roll with it because I already made it. And now my line is heavy there. So your line doesn't have to be that heavy. See, even Mr. Gary makes mistakes, but have no fear because we can correct these here. That's right. Yeah. So our next, next episode here, another face of geometry. Put your finger right behind your ear, run it down the side of your neck. That is your neck contour. Now how we're gonna get that is you come behind your ear, you come down and around, down and around. So now we have a neck jumping off here. You can make it bigger, or skinnier, however you need to make it. Because there's no wrong way to do it, kids. No wrong way to do it. Hey, put your shirt on if you want. Uh, that's just for me to say, hey, or as Miss Nicole says, now I'm starting to think about somebody. This might be somebody. Okay. It's kind of cute. Uh oh. Was she? <laughs> In a strange way. <laughs> okay, now we got these big old head nobody wants, right? So now we're going to make ourselves a hairline and give ourselves a forehead is how we have to start. So how we're gonna do that is, we're gonna come up a little bit, kind of over, following our eyebrow lines, and back up however big you want your head to be, way up here, way down here. I'm gonna come down here. This is about where we're at, I think. And you kind of come over and you shape your head. You can come straight across. You can bring the line down. And then you just try to copy 
what you did on the other side or as close as you can get to that, right? So now we're gonna start shaping our head and playing with, with hair. So now how we do this is, you can make the head as big or as small as you want. So we're gonna come here and we're gonna start. And I like to work with short hair and grow it out. So now you got the shape of your head you want. You just kind of start coloring around your hairline. And it'll start to look like hair. You can have a nice straight line cut, like you got the razor cut, or you can have your hair come in a little bit, however you want to do it, right? You got curly hair. You can make your curly shapes. Don't do that. So say like, hey, Mr. Devin, he has a nice fade on the sides, and it's kind of like the afro on the top, right? And all we're doing is playing, we're getting these lines and then we'll start shaping it. So some of you ladies, or even fellas, people got long hair. You just bring the hair down and you give it the shape you want. And it's the same way, it's the shading. Don't do your hair like this. That doesn't work. It looks crazy, right? Just use the shading and you mimic your hair. So it could be long and straight. It could be long and curly. You could have locks or braids. So you get that, you just cross it over. This is where the shading and coloring in and you start having fun with it. And you guys know we post all of these again on our website and on our youtube so if you want to draw another face later tonight or tomorrow you can just watch this and make another one That's yes right. this is just a practice this is your warm-up this gives you the faces if you can remember those seven or eight lines at least some of those or you could cut it down and say hey i don't want to make that many lines mr gary and say hey okay split your face up Say, that's my nose, that's my mouth, that's where my eyes go, right? So you can cut your count down the more that you think you can work at it. You can do this the same way. Just fill in spaces. You might say, hey, I don't want to use those circles. But if you kind of remember, the nose always has a triangle shape, right? And then so just like in here, I'm going to go back to this one for a minute. It's all about shading mm -hmm. and how you play with your stuff. So you can make lines go away, blend them in a little bit. Got those little eyelids, right? Little hair on them for lashes. The short ones are like that. You want long lashes, just make them long. Curl out a little bit. All the details, you're just starting with your basics. And you get the basics down. So like we said, the basics, and say, hey, that line's too short for a mouth, right? Why well, do I need to bring it up? Same kind of little V shapes here. Fix my chin again. Put the ears on. Very nice. And please remember, if you or your parents are posting these on social media, in order for us to track them, make sure you use hashtag MWSI21. That's MWSI21. That way we can track your work. Matter of fact, Mr. Gary G is putting the hashtag right up here for us. Hashtag MWSI21. I love how we all did the same steps, but they all look really different because we all put right. our own touch on them. I love that. That's your imagination and your creativity. See, we can all look at the same picture. Like Mr. Devin, we look out here and we see the stops lights and we see the signs, we see the buildings, right? Uh -huh. Everyone will have a different perspective and a different angle. 
So we can all look at the same things, but we will see something different. And that is the beauty of individuality. That's right. That's the truth right there. So does anybody have any more questions or need to know anything before we get done today? Or just want to tell me if you learned something? Yeah, post it in the chat. Let us know. What did you learn today? Do you have any questions? How are we doing on time, Miss Nicole? We're good. We still got another 10 minutes. So if you guys have some questions, oh, ask them away. What was you guys' nice. favorite part? Oh, here we go. Kiana wants to know, what's the best way to make braids? To make Great braids. Great question. Okay. Let's see, Miss Kiana. Let's go here. You want them from the side or front view? Sure, let's do both real quick. I'll try to help you out with both real quick. It'll be small, but we'll get this. Kiana says front. So front, okay. Now we can make lines go back. Oh, it's like cornrows. Cornrows, yes. Then say, well, hey, no, I want my braids in a bun. And you just take them up. make the shapes like that. So you just give the illusion that it's braided, right? But then if you say, well, no, I want more details, Mr. Gary. So this is how we can make a braid. This is the bottom here, okay? So I like to do what's called cross hatching in a sense, but I just make it bigger with my shading a little bit. Mm. I kind of just go back and forth. And then you can still kind of shape your braids. Very nice. With the lines there. That's a really good cheat code. Yeah, I'm good about giving cheat. Sharon is caring. That's right. <laughs> Sharon is caring. I don't mind sharing. And see now say, hey, Miss Kiana, it's to the side, right? So we got the braids to the side here, but it's the same way. You create the pattern because it's your idea and then say well hey my braids look too far apart right same thing these braids got hang time <laughs> I'm just assuming Miss Kiana has some hang time. You might even have some beads at the end, huh, Miss Kiana? Very nice. Kiana says, thank you. You're more than welcome. Does anybody else have any questions? Anything I may be able to help you have a cheat code on? Remember, there's no wrong question. Ask away, kids. Ishmael, I've got that song stuck in my head, too. I blame TikTok. <laughs> the only wrong question is the question that you don't ask. That's right. Well, can you make some earrings? Can we do some earrings? Some earrings? Yeah, what do we want? Bamboos, at least two pairs? Yeah, at least. Bing. Let's make a circle. Let's do a better ear. Yeah. Mr. Cole wants those earrings. Who would say this is our ear? Just ignore some of my lines there. Okay, now we put one here because I draw a lot of earrings. Y'all might not remember, but like Roxanne Shante, I used to like her and MC Light, and he used to have salt and pepper. They'd have those big old bamboo earrings. There we go. More of my cheat code. So then I just take these lines, right? And I make them look like earrings are going around there. Oh. Want a little bling bling on the Mr. Cole? Always. <laughs> the little star <laughs> shape there. Then if you just want the nice Mary J. Blythe or Jody Wiley's, just make your little loop. There we go. And you always just stop it behind your ear. So you just make it look like it's going in the top of your ear but hiding behind the back of your uh, ear. Mm. You can put a little more bling in it. You got color, you can color them in. 
This one, they really look good. Very nice. I Very nice. Yeah. Or, hey, you just want the little diamond studs. Ching. Just Ching. Got to have that bling bling, huh? That's right. Always. Now, Miss Norma, I know we've got a little bit of time left. Miss Norma is wondering if you might be able to show the hairline one more time. Show the hairline one more time. How do you draw a good hairline? Let me find some more paper here. Or in fact, yeah. we're at the end of this sketchbook. I have no crap that one. But I use everything. Mr. Gary uses it all. Very he nice. He uses it all. So, okay, let's go. Hairline. Okay, now, just say our ears are here. And it's kind of like the shape you want. So you come up, um, just say my eyebrows are here, right? So I kind of come up to the side and you can make it however you want. You can come up a little higher, kind of come in and come up. So kind of mimic this on both sides. Try to stay the same, but you can always come back and adjust it, right? That's right. Now you can make your hairline come up and around like that, or you can bring your hairline down. And it just depends on the hairstyle that you think you want to make. That's right because everybody's is different. So if you want to go up, say kind of you're coming off the side, this is kind of like Mr. Devins again. And then we just make the hair come over, right? But now say, well, no, that's not what I want. I want my hair to hang down in my face. Then you can break your hairline. So say you want that long swooping bang, Come down like that. Ooh. And once again, you just shape the hair how you want to shape the hair. Come down. But if you say, no, 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 that's not what I wanted. I wanted braids. So even if you want the braids to hang down, you just take that same shape. And now we turn it into our braid shape. So you start with the hairline. And depending on the type of hair that you want, you create it around the hairline. Yes. Yes, that's it. All Very these nice. are is the basics, right? So if we have the basics of anything. So see, here's the braids again. Got a little parts in between them. And I just go back and forth. And this is just me. Because I think the shading works better sometimes. Mm -hmm. You could perfect it too. This is just the quick stuff. This is the quick draw. Going quick with it. And you just give them all the shape you want. Very nice. Awesome. Now I want to finish it. It's like Mr. Cole says, now she's a person here. <laughs> and Thank as Mr. Gary's finishing that up, don't hesitate to ask any questions you folks might have. Put them in the chat. See, this is that circle I was using, right? Let's say that's my circle on the nose and how we start playing those C shapes and the shading, so. And you kind of take that out where those triangles were before. I like to blend. I cheat with my fingers a lot, so my hands look like this. So you might want to get a paper towel or a napkin sometimes. See, that's one thing that you could do with physical art. Please, Ishmael, please post your picture and tag us, Walker Theater, and then the hashtag, uh, Walker Legacy Center 21. And see how I just only drew half of my football shape? The more you practice, the more you'll be able to, hey, I don't have to do that step. That's right. I can do it without it. I know it now. And after you do something a, a lot, you develop what's called muscle memory. Isn't that right, Mr. Gary G? Yes, muscle memory. And you kind of instantly know your layouts. And you can do this all day long. And I'm giving y'all my cheat codes. And whatever age you're at now, that means if you practice this, you'll be way better than Mr. Gary. I guarantee you, if you practice. And all you have to do is practice the simple little steps. So see, I'm not using my line right now, but if you look, everything still lines up, right? On that T, that's right. Everything still lines up. So it's like Mr. Devin said, it's muscle memory, 
and practice and you can get there just like this. Got the hoop earrings going. Got the hoop earrings because Mr. Cole wants that bling bling. Have to. At least <laughs> two pair. We'll give them a little pair there. Because everybody doesn't wear the Jody Watley from Mary J. Blige. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's just us shading and playing around. And I bet, I bet if y'all do this, y'all gonna send Mr. Cole, Miss Devin, some wonder, Mr. Devin some wonderful pictures here. And we're gonna be like, ooh, 2021 is clowning. That's right. Please. SI21. Yes, please tag us. Thank you so much, Genesis, for sending yours in from last week. We appreciate it. Thank you so much, Mr. G. Can you guys go ahead and give him a warm round of applause? You know how we do round of applauses here. Show some love. Yeah, I want y'all to give yourself an applause too. For creating some masterpieces. Yes. Very nice. Love. Lots Tag of us. applause in the chat. Tag Thanks us in your pictures. Thank you so much. Now, guys, I just want to remind you not only to tag us with at Walker Theater or hashtag MWSI21, but also we'll see you tomorrow. We have the Kenyatta Dance Company, and they're going to give us a Black Dance Matters demonstration. Again, please do tag us. And also at the end of our session, when you close out, there's going to be a poll for you guys to take just a few short questions. So as soon as it presses end, I want you guys to take that poll. It really, really helps us. Thank you guys so, so much. You guys are amazing. Please, we can't wait to see your masterpieces. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank you, guys. <laughs>